Hey everybody, so I am back for a good old fashioned book haul. It has been a while, but I have a stack of amazing books that have been sent my way that I need to make sure are on your TBR because they all sound so good and I cannot wait to read them myself. So let's get started. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. How are you doing today? As always, I hope you're happy, I hope you're healthy, I hope you're safe, and of course I hope you're reading an amazing book or two or three or four. Now I know if you are a constant watcher of my videos, you probably have noticed that you have seen me now in the same Read With Pride t-shirt for the last three videos because I am trying to, and have been, I'm recording in advance. I am starting a new job at my company and I know I am going to be busy. So I need to make sure that I've got some content out there so I can make sure you have tons of books to read and talk about and pick up. So that's why I'm here, sorry for the, but I love this shirt. So I'm totally okay actually with it being in three videos. Um, but this is a stack of fantastic books. I don't know that you probably have heard of many of these. So I am here to share them with you so you can make sure they're on your TBR. So get out your pen, get your paper, get out your Goodreads, however you keep track of that TBR. If you are so able, please get these books from your local independent bookstore, or if you are a library user, get your library to get you a copy as soon as possible. The first book I want to tell you about sounds wild, and that is Open Throat by Henry Hoke. This is out from MCD. It, it just comes out at the beginning of June, so by the time this video comes out, it may have just been released. It's almost like poetry, if I'm being honest with you, like the way it's written. This is the story of a queer mountain lion outside of Hollywood, California, LA area, who um, I think it has the best first line ever. I've never eaten a person, but today I might. I think that is so, I, it's so good, right? It's really, really good. And basically what I know about this is that this mountain lion sort of stays outside of this a, a homeless encampment, I believe, but a fire occurs and he has to sort of save the people there, but he winds up having to go more and more towards LA and sort of the stuff that he finds and and learns along the way, both about him, himself as a queer mountain lion and also about LA and the people in LA and those around it. So I have started this one, Open Throat by Henry Hoke out. It comes out on June 6th, so it's out from MCD. So if it's either just before or just after when this video winds up being posted. So hopefully you'll pick it up because it sounds bonkers and I'm here for it. The next book um, I actually talked about in an unboxing video I did. So you may have seen me talk about Hangman um, by Maya Binyam. And this is out from FSG on August 8th, 2023. Um, and this is about a young man uh, who returns to sub-Saharan Africa after 26 years, I believe, living in America. And when he gets there... He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anyone. He doesn't recognize anyone. He um, meets someone who calls him brother, and it's really he's there to search for his real brother who is dying. And I love what it says on the back. It says his journey will cost him his passport, his savings, his luggage, his heart, his speech, and his will. Um, but Hangman is an enthralling first novel about retribution, dysphoria, and the impossibility of black refuge in America and beyond. So that's Hangman by Maya Binyam, and this is out from FSG. I'm kind of totally obsessed with this cover too. Sometimes I wish I could just be like, okay, I like that cover as some sort of art from my wall. I'm just doing it. I am. Um, a master of the novel form has a new book coming out in June. It also comes out on June 6th, so it's around the time that this video is coming out. And that is Deborah Levy's August Blue, and this is also out from FSG. Deborah Levy is one of those authors I have never, ever dis been disappointed 
when I pick up one of her books. Um, and this is the story of a woman who is in Athens, Greece, I believe, yes, when she sees her doppelganger really across the way buying these two mechanical horses. And for a month, she follows this woman. And just listen to this. It says, this, it's a search that mounts to an uncanny erotic encounter in a summer rainstorm. So I love Deborah Levy's writing. I think she's fantastic. Even her nonfiction is so good. Um, and um, I'm really excited about this one. It's one of those things that I didn't want to read it until closer till it's out date. I didn't want, I want to be able to talk about Deborah Levy's books with people. So I'm really excited. Thank you, FSG, for sending me August Blue out June 6th from, that was a really high pitch six. Uh, June 6th, 2023, FSG. Thank you so much. Okay. Next is a book that I don't really know if I know what it's about, um, but I am really interested about this one. And this is out from Knopf. It comes out in June as well. I Am Homeless If This Is Not My Home by Lori Moore. And all <clears throat> this book just says on the back, it says, A Teacher Visiting Her Dying Brother in the Bronx, a mysterious journal from the 19th century stolen from a boarding house, a therapy clown, and an assassin, both presumed dead, but perhaps not dead at all. How that all is going to come together, I have, no, in this slim little book, I have no idea, but I am intrigued. Lori Moore, I mean, she's such a good writer, right? She'll, she'll take care of us, but that's I Am Homeless If This Is Not My Home by Lori Moore. I highly recommend figuring out what this one's about with me. So pick it up, comes out in June as well. This book sounds really interesting, and again, another beautiful, beautiful cover. This is out from Knopf, and this is Loot by uh, Tania James, and it comes out in June as well. It comes out this month. I don't have an exact day in this month, um, but just take a moment, right? That cover is gorgeous. So this takes place in, I believe, hold on one second, it's the 18th century, right? Yeah, 18th century in both in across Europe, but also mainly in India. Our uh, main character is a young man who is a very, very gifted wood carver who agree, um, sort of gets the attention of the Tipu T I P U Sultan. Um, and at 17 years old, he is drawn into the service of the palace, and he is asked to create a ta a tiger, an automaton tiger. And his fate and sort of the fate of this tiger and everything that he is going to help create will, and the way the book, uh, the blurb describes it, mirrors what's going on, the wars that are going on, and everything that's going on across Europe and in India at the time. And he goes through it, like it's sort of like this following him through his life. He, I think he's an apprentice to a watchmaker. He crosses the ocean. There's like all sorts of stuff that goes on in his life. And, um, all of how that comes together. It says, Lude is a hero's quest, a love story, a story about colonialism and empire, and the tale of a young man determined to leave his mark on the world. So I think that that, and Camilla Shamsi blurbs this book, Lauren Groff, Rebecca Mackay, Megan Mujamdar, who I apologize, she wrote The Burning. I absolutely love The Burning. Apologize for that last name blurb. Um, but yeah, I'm really bought into Lute by Tania Jamal. I'm sorry, Tania James. This is what happens when I try to read things backward in the camera. That's why you always see me do this so I don't make those mistakes. Tania James out from Knopf and it comes out in June. You can get your hands on it. And um, yeah, that sounds really, really good. Now, I do have a couple of books in this stack that have already come out and I apologize, I did not get them in a haul video sooner, but that doesn't mean you can't go pick them up right now because now they're available. Um, the first is Atlanta by Jennifer Saint. This is out from Flatiron Books. Um, Jennifer Saint has re written uh, Electra and Adrian, is that? I don't remember that one as much, but I do remember Electra. Um, so she writes these sort of Greek myth retellings about these sort of women that we heard about, but what really is their story, right? So Atlanta is the story of, um, oh, goodness gracious, I'm having a day, is the story of a princess who is born, but her parents really want a son. And she is left on the side of a mountain to, deny, to die when she is then taken under the wing, raised by a bear, and the wing of Artemis, the goddess Artemis. But with this idea that she um, never marry, she can never marry. You know, that was sort of Artemis's thing too, right? 
Um, and she gets trained. She winds up going to war uh, beside the Argonauts, and she is just equally as capable as they are. And she is winds up having an affair and starts to doubt what Artemis has been telling her. You know, all of that. Um, so yeah, I think it sounds fun. I love a good Greek retelling. I know, I know there are a lot of them, but Jennifer Saint does it better than most. So that is Atlanta by Jennifer Saint out from Flatiron Books. And I do think that cover is actually quite beautiful too. Okay, let's get on to Las Madres by Esmeralda Santiago. This is also out from Knopf. This one comes out in August of 2023. Um, this one is a Puerto Rican family tale. It's set in two time periods. The first one is 1975 Puerto Rico. We meet Luz, who's 15. Um, she and I believe her parents are involved in a terrible car accident. They both die, and she suffers a brain injury. She cannot remember the loss. She can't remember a lot of stuff. Um, she becomes friends with two women, Ada and Shirley, and they are with her for her whole life. The second part of the story is in 2017 in the Bronx. Luz's daughter um, wants to better understand her mom, but her mom doesn't remember where she's from, right? Doesn't remember that history. So she and her friends decide to return to Puerto Rico um, and uh, sort of see if they can dive in and learn something about Luz. Um, but there are I think there are two um, hurricanes that they have to deal with. And then a secret arises and it changes everything. Uh, so that's Las Madres by Esmeralda Santiago. And this is out from Knopf in August. I think that it sounds fantastic. I love a good family tale. And I know a lot of you do too. Um, and um, yeah. The next book that I'm going to tell you about, I'm not really sure I know what to say about it. Um, it's Do Tale by Lindsay Lynch. This is out from Doubleday. It comes out in July, which is just around the corner. Let's be honest how fast the world is, the year's going by, right? The year is flying by. Um, all I know about this is that it's, soul, it's set in the golden age of Hollywood, our main character is like an observer of everything going on. And the way it says, one of the people says, so our main character is Edie and she's a gossip columnist. And um, she has enemies, she has sources, but she doesn't have any friends. And um, she is tarnished by exploitation, cruelty, and betrayal. And there's like, she sees all of these actors and act directors and all these famous people through time. And that's the story. I don't know much more about it um, other than it's a gossip columnist in the golden age of Hollywood, which sounds like it could be fantastic. And that is Do Tell by Lindsay Lynch out from Doubleday in August. Uh, I'm sorry, July of 2023. Um, so right around the corner, you'll get your hands on it before you know it. Okay, so I have two more books to tell you about. The first is The Rachel Incident by Carolyn O'Donohue, and this is in, on sale this month, also from Knopf. Um, there is a part of this blurb that blows my mind and makes me want to read the book just so I can understand what this part of the blurb means. But so our main character is Rachel. She's working in a bookstore when she meets James and it's love at first sight. Effervescent and insistently heterosexual. I have to know what that means, right? Right. So James and Rachel become roommates and uh, their relationship takes off. And together they run through the streets of Cork, which I have not read a book set in Cork that I can remember off the top of my head, which should be fun. Um, but things are, you know, there's a financial crash coming and all of that. Rachel winds up falling in love with a married professor and James creates an event, a reading event at the bookstore so that Rachel can lure the professor there and seduce him afterwards. There's going to be a lot of stuff. I have to know what insistently heterosexual means. I think I know, but it just makes me laugh. And that's The Rachel Incident by Carolyn O'Donohue. And that's out from Knopf. And it comes out this month. Um, I know that someone on my Instagram said they read it and really liked it. Um, but I haven't seen a lot of it. So hopefully you will pick it up. Last but not la least, let's do a Victorian gay romp. How's that sound? Um, this is my first book ever from this publisher. This is A Rule Book for Restless Rogues by Jess Everly. Um, and this is published by Adores, which I think is my first romance novel to ever be sent to me. I might be sure, but I mean, come on. I am obsessed with this. 
Um, but this comes out um, in July, so July 11th, 2023. You can get your hands on this. And I think this is part of some sort of series. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it's a historical romance set in London, 1885. Um, David Forrester and Nora Clark have been best friends since boarding school. All grown up now, clever, eccentric. Noah is Seville Rowe's most promising young tailor with a former socialite David runs an underground queer club, The Curious Fox. Nothing makes David happier than to keep the incense lit, the pianist playing, and all his people comfortable, happy, and safe until they stumble out into the down. Uh, into the dawn, I'm sorry. But when the unscrupulous baron who owns the fox moves to close it, David's world comes crashing down. Noah never feared a little high-stakes gambling, but as he risks his own career in hopes of helping David, he realizes two things. One, David has not been honest about how he ended up at the curious fox in the first place. And two, Noah's feelings for David have become far more than friendly. What future lies beyond the first furative kiss? Noah and David can hardly wait to find out if they can untangle David from his web of deception without losing everything Noah has worked for. Come on, if that doesn't sound like so much fun. Um, and it's sort of like, you know, an offshoot of Bridgerton in a way. <laughs> um, I love it. I love everything about it. So that is the, A Rule Book for Restless Rogues by Jess Everly. And it is out from Adores. And um, it comes out on July 11th of 2023. Okay. So hopefully I did a pretty good job. Let me see if I can raise all of these books. They're all very different sizes. So that always makes it a little bit more difficult for me. There we go. Um, I hope one or two or maybe all of these wound up on your TBR. They are all very different and all very fun. And I cannot wait to read them myself. As always, if you're a turn subscriber, I could not do this without you. If you are new to my channel, I uh, hope you hit subscribe. I hope you click the button and I hope I've um, introduced you to a book or two or three or four. As always, I encourage you to read globally, shop locally, and until next time, I wish you happy reading. Bye everybody.